Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name's Amanda and in today's video we're going to be doing a spring design featuring a couple of the colours from the new spring bling collection. So I really hope you all enjoy watching. I have already prepared my display tips using the Kiki London rubber base coat and I've cured that in my LED lamp for 30 seconds so that we can jump straight into the design. But first of all I thought I'd show you the colours we're going to be using. So first up we have just lavish I'm going to be using a little bit of coral whip with this gorgeous pink which is bubblegum and then the first color from the spring bling collection that I'm going to be using is violet days and I'm going to also be using romantic spark and I wanted to do my nala on a nude base so I'm going to use a ballet charm for that and then I'm also going to be using a black heart and French white just for my details in my Nala as well. And the brushes I'm going to be using today are the Stripe Liner Brush. This one's my go-to. I use this pretty much in any gel polish set that I do. And then I'm also going to be using the Detail Brush as well. And then I did also end up using the round brush to apply my marble. I love this brush. This is definitely a must-have. I get a lot of use out of this one as well. Now to start off with I'm going to do my nude base so I'm coming in with that ballet charm and I'm going to apply a thin first coat of this to the entire nail. Now I did this colour as the base on three nails but I just recorded the base for one just so the video wasn't too repetitive but I'm popping that first colour in to cure for 30 seconds and then I'm going to come in and apply my second coat of colour. I like to float the second coat on ever so slightly thicker than the first coat just making sure I get a nice easy even coverage before popping that in to cure. Because I'm going to be doing some hand painted Nala, I like to work on top of a matte surface. So I'm coming in and applying a thin coat of the No Wipe Matte Top Coat. And then I'm going to pop this in to cure for 30 seconds as well. I personally just find it a lot easier to work over a matte surface. But this can be personal preference. But I just wanted to say if you are struggling with hand painted, give it a go over a matte surface. And just let me know if you find it a little bit easier. Now to begin with on this now I'm going to be doing a butterfly so I started off by drawing the very centre part of the butterfly just because then that way I can work out where I'm going to be putting my wings. So I drew that on with the black car and then I've switched to the French white and to start off with this can be a little bit tricky to see because I was working super super thin with my white gel polish but what I'm basically doing is mapping out the wings. Now whenever I'm doing anything hand painting that I haven't done before or I'm not very confident at doing I like to paint it on quite thin to begin with just so I can work out where I'm placing everything and I find it saves me having to remove it and repeat doing it because if I do it quite thin I'm able to fix it up so what I'm doing is just drawing out a rough idea of how I'm going to start off my butterfly wings so I'm keeping that polish nice and thin and then if I'm not happy with it or if I need my wings to be a bit bigger I'm able to come in and thicken up those lines so that's why I like to do them quite thin to begin with because like on this wing here I wasn't happy with the shape but because I'd come in and done it thin I was able to come over make the line slightly thicker until I was happy with the shape that I'd created. Now the wings are not going to be staying white. I'm going to be coming over the top of the white with the glitter gel polishes from the Spring Bling collection. But I personally just found it a little bit easier to draw out the shape with the white gel polish. Just because it meant I could play around with the sizes and the shape of the wings. And I was able to see what I was doing a little bit easier than if I was painting them straight on with the glitter gels. And then also having that white underneath the glitter gels is just going to really help them pop. Because you're only going to need to do one coat of the glitter but again this is personal preference if I was a little bit more confident drawing this I might come in and do it straight away with the glitter gel polishes but I haven't done any hand painted butterflies in a very long time so that's why I decided I just come in and do it with the white base to begin with so here you can see I'm just filling that in making sure it's nice and thin I don't want to build up the white gel polish too much because again we're coming over the top with those glitter gel polishes once I have filled them all in, I'm going to pop this in my LED lamp to cure. Now, one of the things I love about doing butterflies in Nala is you can combine so many different colours to create different looks. You can use more softer pastel shades in the spring and then come in with brighter colours in the summer. 
But for this design, I really wanted to use some sparkles and I wanted to be able to show you how you can incorporate your spring bling gels into different designs that you do because you don't necessarily have to just do full colour nails with them. They work brilliantly for nail art. So on the lower halves of my butterfly wings, I'm going to use a violet daze. So as you can see, I'm just using my detail brush to paint in the violet days and basically just coloring in the over the top of the white and that's what also helps having that white base there you've already created your shape so when it comes to working with the glitter gels i'm able to just float them on and that's one of the things i want to say about working with the glitter gels when you're working with any kind of glitter product it's very easy to pull the glitter off when you're applying it so it works a lot easier if you kind of float it on so when I'm applying it with my detail brush, I'm using quite soft and gentle strokes just to colour in those wings. And that's another reason why I found it easier to draw out the shape in the white and then come in with the glitter gels over the top. So the top half of my butterfly wings, I wanted to use the romantic spark because I felt as though these two colours worked quite well together. You know, you've got the pink and the lilacs and they're two really colours that go really nicely together. So again, I'm painting that on exactly the same as before, making sure I cover all of that white. You don't really want to be able to see any of the white showing through the glitter or around the edges. So that was why I switched to the detail brush because this brush is fab for when you've got to work in small intricate sized areas. So as you can see I'm just colouring those in and like I said I'm using a really gentle touch with my brush and slightly like in circular motions just to get right up to the edges. You don't have to worry too much if your butterfly wings are not super crisp around the edges because we're going to come in and outline them with the black heart anyway. So once I've cured that, I'm going to come in back again with my striped liner brush. I've loaded it up with the Kiki London Black Heart Gel Polish and I'm just coming in around those wings. Now when it comes to doing the butterfly, the hardest part was mapping out the beginning image with the white. So because you've already done all the hard work with your white gel polish, it makes these steps with the black and the fine lines a lot easier because you've already created your shape. But I'm just taking my time, I'm letting the brush do a lot of the work for me i'm anchoring my hand down using my little finger so you'll see i'm balancing my little finger on my thumb so if you're working on a client this is a lot easier than when you're working on display tips because you can anchor your finger down onto their hand and it really helps with making your own hand steady which is really important when you're doing these fine lines because it can be a little bit tricky to begin with now I wasn't 110% happy with the shape of my butterfly wings to be honest but I haven't done any hand painting especially butterflies in quite a while so it's definitely something I need a little bit more practice with but practice makes perfect so I still wanted to share this design with you. As you see I've then just come on and drew on the little antennas for the butterfly and I've also come over that centre part of the butterfly as well and then using the very very tip of my stripe liner brush I'm just applying a few little details to the wings I was going to come in and add some spots on as well but I didn't want to take too much away from those glitter gel polishes I quite liked the wings where you could really see the glittery colors so I didn't want to add too much detail and then it draws the attention away from those I've popped my butterfly design to the side and we'll top coat all of the nails at the end. So I've moved on to the second design in this set. And as you can see, I've already applied my two coats of Ballet Charm and my matte top coat. And here I'm coming in with the bubblegum gel polish and my stripe liner brush. And we're going to be drawing a rose. I want you to go for that stenciled style rose because I quite like these and they're really easy to do. So to begin with, I kind of done two half circles and made sure they were separated and then just popped a little dot in the center. You want these to be quite close together because they're your center part of the rose. And then I'm just coming around and drawing on, again, not full circle shapes. You want to kind of alternate where there's a gap between the previous two lines that you drew. You come in on the opposite side with your next line. And as we get further out with the rose, I like to do each petal, I suppose you could call it, slightly further away so the center is nice and tight with the lines close together and then as we get further out with the rows they're slightly further apart and then as you can see i draw my line on quite thin and then i come over it again and thicken it up in certain areas i like to have the center part the thickest 
and the very tips of each petal to be quite thin. So I just come in and apply a little bit more pressure as I get to that center part of the petal just to thicken up the line. And then here you can see I'm just thinning out the tips ever so slightly. And then I just continue going around doing this until I'm happy. You can make these as small or as big as you like. They're very similar style to the Blooming Gel Roses. So you could pop a base coat underneath before doing this step if you wanted that Blooming Gel Effect Rose. But for this particular design, I didn't want that effect. So that's why I'm just drawing it on as I am here. And I loved how the bubblegum pink looked against the Ballet Charm base. I think these two colours really complemented each other, especially for a spring set because the base is quite soft and gentle. And then you've got that just bit more of a vibrant colour on the top. Now I'm absolutely loving the warmer weather and the spring designs so let me know in the comments below what are your favourite spring designs to do at the moment and how are you incorporating the spring bling collection into those designs that was a bit of a mouthful there. I'm absolutely loving the Spring Bling collection and I'm really loving how the colours work so well with a lot of the previous spring colours that Kiki London have released. It's like they complement them all perfectly and you can pair up so many, you can pair them up with so many of the previous spring colours. So I've popped my rose in to cure for 30 seconds and then using the violet days I'm going to come in and draw on some leaves. So I didn't put base colour underneath these because they're quite small and I wanted them to look quite subtle and this was one of the things I mentioned in the swatch video when I was swatching the spring bling collection. If you pop this gel polish down with just one coat they look quite subtle with a hint of sparkle and if you want a more intense sparkle, you can pop a colour underneath them or use them in two coats. So on this particular design, I wanted everything to look quite soft and subtle. So I'm just drawing on my leaves with the one coat and no colour underneath, just so it doesn't draw too much attention away from my rose, but adds that nice little hint of sparkle. Now to do the leaves, I'm loading up my brush with a nice generous amount of gel polish at the very tip. And as you can see, I just draw two lines and bring them together. So I'll show you on this one. I go around one way and then around the other way and just come over a little bit to fill in the center. I did apply a little bit too much gel polish to these ones here. So as you can see, I'm just coming back in and thinning it out a little bit and making those leaves a little bit bigger. And that is our rose design complete. I really liked this one and I thought it would make a fab accent now in a nude set of nails. Now on to our third design. I have already done my two coats of ballet charm, but instead of matte top coat in this time, I'm coming over the top with a very thin layer of the regular Kiki London base coat. So this is not their rubber base coat. This is their classic base coat, which is quite thin. Now I like to use this one like I would a blooming gel. So if you don't have a blooming gel in, your collection fear not you can use your base coat so I'm going to be doing a marble design on this nail so I've left my base coat uncured and then on my palette I'm coming in with bubble gum just lavish and then a little bit of coral whip so I've placed those colors down on my palette and then I'm going to take my dotting tool and swirl them together now the trick here is you don't want to over swirl them you don't want to start really mixing them together because you still want to be able to see each color and you don't want the design to look too messy so just gently swirl through them. Then I've taken my round Kiki London brush and as you can see, I'm just scooping that marbled gel polish up and applying it on to that base coat. Because you've got the base coat there, one, the gel polish is gonna transfer from your brush to the nail really easily. But two, what's gonna happen is the marble is gonna start running and dispersing a little bit more, which just gives it a really cool effect. You don't necessarily have to do it this way. You can just pop it down without the base coat 
and you'll find the colours don't run as much but I really love that effect where the gel polish marble just runs that little bit more. Now I've popped this in to cure for 60 seconds rather than 30 just because we've got that layer of base coat and we've applied the gel marble a little bit thick so I like to double cure rather than cure for 30 seconds just to make sure it's fully cured all the way through and then of course I had to add in a little bit of glitter. This has been one of the things I've been dying to do with the spring bling collection i love doing gel polish marbles but i do find you need a glitter gel polish to run through them so here i'm coming in with the romantic spark and the violet days and i'm just following some of the lines in the gel polish pattern sorry the marble pattern with those again i'm using my striped liner brush to do this as i'm able to get nice thin lines and then once i'm happy with those i'm going to pop them into cure and just how amazing does that marble look? It's really soft, but then it has that bright splash of colour thanks to the bubble gum. So there's our three gel polish designs. The remaining two nails in this design are quite simple because I didn't want the set to look too full on. I wanted it to be quite wearable. So on this nail, I'm coming in with one thin coat of Just Lavish. I'm then going to cure that for 30 seconds. And over the top of this, I'm going to come in with the Violet Days. Now this colour on its own is absolutely beautiful, but popping it over a similar colour background, I loved it. I can't believe believe how gorgeous it looked now if you haven't seen what it looks like on its own I will leave a link in the description box below to the swatch video I did and you'll see there it's absolutely gorgeous but popping it over the just lavish was beautiful so I decided to do a very similar on this nail I'm coming in with the bubble gum which is a really bright gorgeous pink as you can see I'm just going to apply one thin coat and then pop this into cure and then over the top of this one I'm going to come in with the romantic spark and then this way I felt as though I could incorporate all of the colours that we've used in the gel polishes together if that makes sense but have two plain simple nails at the same time and again the romantic spark over this bubblegum base gave it such a different effect to how it looks on its own so if you have got the spring bling collection I would definitely recommend teaming it up with some of your other spring colours so this is what the nails looked like once they had all finished and cured I really loved this design it's definitely something I would wear myself so I'm now going to come in and top coat and I decided I would top coat today with the no wipe rubber top coat I mainly opted for this top coat because of the marble design when you're doing a marble gel polish it can sometimes be a little bit bumpy and uneven on the surface just because of how you've applied it so I like to go over the top of my marbles with the rubber top coat because it's ever so slightly thicker so it just smooths everything out so seeing as I wanted that on the marble now I just decided I would do it on all of the nails it is one of my favorite top coats for when it comes to working over the top of nail art to be honest so it is one I reach for quite a lot you just do need to bear in mind that it is ever so slightly thicker than your regular top coat so you do really need to work it as you're applying it so I like to go over it a few times just to make sure it's got a nice even coat and then once I'm happy with how that's applied I'm going to pop this in my Kiki London LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then that guys is pretty much the end of the design I really hope you enjoyed this one I hope it's got you in the mood for the spring nails if you haven't been already and I hope it's given you a few ideas on how you can use your spring bling collection if you did enjoy this video please let us know your thoughts in the comments below or give the video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to our channel I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscription button. We very recently hit 1000 subscribers here on the Kiki London channel so I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being part of our little YouTube community and yeah don't forget hit the notification bell as well and then you'll never miss an upload but I do upload every Friday at 5pm so keep an eye out for our future videos thank you all so much for watching take care lots of love bye bye